So thank you for coming out to play Zombie World today. Uh, I will be your GM. My name is Brendan Conway. I'm Mark Diaz Truman. And I'm Catherine Fackrell. Awesome. So uh, we are going to get started by creating your enclave. Uh, so your enclave is the place where you have managed to find some degree of solace and refuge in this nightmare landscape full of the unliving dead monsters that wander around. Uh, yes. <laughs> so uh, there are several different enclaves you'd be able to choose from in the full game, but for our purposes today, we have the prison and we have the hospital. Uh, so what would you like to choose for your enclave? Uh, so how are they different from each other? Great question. So they each come with a set of choices to detail their surroundings, to detail the kind of people who are living there with you, to detail some of the advantages you might get. Mm -hmm. And they each come with two unique moves you can take advantage of during the course of play, special things you can do in these settings. So the prison has a couple of moves for hiding things, locking people away, and the hospital has more moves for using medical facilities to maybe try to keep yourselves alive. It probably won't work, but you can hope. Okay. <laughs> uh, prison? Yeah. Excellent. Let's hope. Let's hope. All right. Let's hope. No hope here. Excellent. Okay. So we have these two prison cards. One of them details these two special moves that's more important during the course of play. Okay. Uh, and the other is this checklist of things we are going to use to build the enclave. What we'll do with the card is we'll pass it around and everybody will take a turn choosing one of the options here until we've chosen two from each of the four lists on this card. The four lists are scarcities, which are things that you are lacking in your enclave. Okay. Surroundings, the things that are just nearby in the environment around the enclave, they matter, things can come out of them. Population, the other people living in this enclave. And advantages, the special additional advantages you manage to salvage or build or something in the months since zombies have arisen, okay? Now there are a couple things already selected on this card. For instance, you have a scarcity of food. No matter what, you are running out of food when things start. Furthermore, you have a noteworthy prisoner living in your prison. We'll detail this person a little bit later. Uh, but we are gonna go until we have two more in every single category, no more than two in each category. So, okay. I'll pass this to you. Cool. Uh, so, I'm going to start with our advantages. And I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to take Armory. So, that's where we have a lot of guns then, right? Excellent. And we have these advantage cards right here. Cool. So, you pick the Armory. We're just going to take that card out. You have access to this advantage over the course of play. Great. Okay. Uh... I like population. I think I'll say a dozen or so city refugees. Excellent. Very nice. I always love city refugees. So for that, we have this enclave map right over here where we can record important information about the enclave. And we have a population section right here. Sure. So would you be so kind as to write a dozen city refugees on population? If they become more important specific characters, we'll adjust that, add them as necessary, but this is just to make sure we don't forget. Okay. Excellent. Okay. okay. Um, for the other population, I'm going to say, I think the warden of the prison would be interesting. Nice. Um, and I'll go with our second advantage. I think I will take strong fences. Excellent. For prison. All right. So no more advantages. And no more population either. You guys have to pick the scarcities and the surroundings. All right, so we have lots of guns and fences, huh? Yes. Check. <laughs> Sounds real safe. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to take um, scarcity of privacy. Privacy. Okay, cool. So when you say that, do you have something in mind? Um, well, like, so we have these strong fences, right? So, like, maybe we don't really let people go. They can't go very far, so it's kind of, mm. we're like kind of packed in on top of each other. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like you can't get five minutes, but you're, somebody's already always walking through or something. Yeah, you, you get five minutes and that's it. That's it. Mm. Yeah, great. 
Okay, so surroundings. How about a dangerous military outpost? We'll be fine. We have guns and pencils. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's going right, to be great. Go. <laughs> it's going to be great. All right. Uh, and I'm going to choose uh, a dense forest for the surroundings. Like, I like the idea that the forest is kind of, because it's been mice, right? Yep. Yeah, so it's kind of grown up a little bit around the roads and things, yeah. And then we're also maybe like a little hidden from sure. people driving by. Do you think you're surrounded by the forest, or is it just on one side of the prison? Um, I'm going to be surrounded. Like, there's probably a little road that would go into the prison, and it's kind of grown up on both sides. It's right. all, it hasn't been years, so the road is still there. Right. Yeah, yeah, like, it's kind of all around. Fantastic. All right, and then one more scarcity. Uh, how about security? Excellent. <laughs> okay. No one's actually keeping track of what's happening with the guns or fences. <laughs> They're just there. We They're can institute the governing First come, system. first serve. So it's kind of a little lawless. A little lawless. That's yeah. pretty fantastic. All right, so just to recap, you have a scarcity of food, privacy, and security. You have a population that includes a dozen city refugees, the warden, and a noteworthy prisoner. Okay. And your surroundings are a dangerous military outpost and dense forest. Uh, and your advantages are an armory and strong fences. So, what's the name of this place? Oh, um, it should be something like the... the like Longfellow Prison or something like that. Like how somebody's name, right? Okay. As there as like the like is name I don't know. Do they name do they name prisons after people? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it'd be like the Longfellow, Longfellow County, County Longfellow yeah. County Prison. Longfellow yeah. County yeah. Prison. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Excellent. I name mean, counties after people. Yeah, yeah. That is fantastic. Yeah. All right. So now we have an idea of where you are situated, where we're going to be playing. We'll obviously be filling in more specific details as we go. We need to know who this noteworthy prisoner is. We need to give the warden a name. But that'll come as we fill in even more details and find out who you're playing. So that's going to be our next step, to create your survivors.